Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Practical Tutorials. This tutorial is completely about the COBOL practicals. So you're watching. Uh, how do we, uh, in this video, I would like to show you like how do we write a COBOL program using time and date functions. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you practically by connecting to the Mainframe terminal. Okay, now let me, uh, let, let, uh, let me connect to this Mainframe terminal and show you how do we or write a COBOL programs in order to use date and time function and I will compile this and we will try to show you the results okay this is your COBOL program where it the program uh, the program always starts with the comment section and the identification program ID data division working storage and I'm trying to declare three variables called more time day off and reference more date Okay, so these are the three. Uh, these are the three different variables I have declared. One is eight bytes, and two bytes, and six bytes. Okay. Okay. Here, what I'm trying to uh, access is I'm trying to capture the time over here with the time function, and I'm trying to display the time. Okay. What if the time is captured? I'm trying to display it. So okay. And with the help of reference modifications, uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to extract first two bytes, and then two bytes, and then two bytes. So so that I'm trying I'm trying to divide this time into hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So whatever this time function will capture, hours, minutes, seconds, and uh, milliseconds in an entire string. So I'm trying to split this with the help of reference modification. Okay. So in this way, you can print hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So th this is how we capture the time. At the same time, we will uh, once again. I'm trying to say you uh, about date function. I have already covered this date function in my earlier video, but I'm trying to capture in this full also. So here is, but in this it will with this uh, it will cover date function and time function also. We are trying to use a reference modification uh, these things. Okay so this will be very much useful so I'm trying to accept a date and reference modification date I'm trying to split it into year month and date okay I'm trying to display this okay day of month if you want to display only month you can display only month if you want to extract the year you can extract the year or a particular day so whatever it is I mean which this is the basic this is the basic uh, understanding you need to have uh, how do we use this time or date in real time so if you are good with this thing you can use whatever you want in your application program okay so this is how this COBOL program is written and uh, you can just recap you have declared three variables and uh, with the help of from time keyword I mean the from time function you can capture this and with the help of date you can capture this in time I'm trying to split into hours minutes and seconds with the help of reference modification and in the same way date also year month date and I'm trying to split it and finally I'm trying to display it okay now let's compile this and see okay just update your new program and where do you want to load this your load, load module into your load library just specify the path and just submit it enter okay okay enter it has been successfully ran with max is zero now I need to run it in order to run it you have to write a separate JCL to run it so just you need to specify your program name and uh, point it to your particular load module since I'm not having any parameters so I'm not using any parameters that to be used okay now just finally just submit it okay now it has been ended with max is zero okay good spool and verify it and see the results okay you can see the time is and number of hours minutes seconds milliseconds so you can see the same value 06 07 46 and 48 in the same way date 150222 to a date is okay uh, year is month is day is and day is okay so in this way your date and uh, time function works okay I hope you got a clear understanding about the date and time functions I will be coming up with more and more videos about COBOL practicals not only a COBOL practicals I would like to post all the related different kinds of modules like GCL, VSAM, CICS whatever I can 
okay thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly please subscribe or click on this above button to subscribe and get an day-to-day -day alerts on whatever the videos I will be posting on YouTube okay uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great and pleasureful day